What are you thinking? Um. Hmm. I think maybe playing Hellhorn again to just just to you know uh, level them up. Um, are you thinking Awoken or Stygian? Um. Stygian secondary is strange sounding. Well, not strange, but necessarily. But I don't really know how that works as well. Yeah, I'd rather just keep it. The only thing I could think of with with Stygian secondary is if you get. If you do multi-strike with your main unit again, you can get um, things to give your units um, type uh, or um, what is it like, like you know, frost and and, and all that. Um, and the multi-strike will be that much better with the additional with like a status effect. There you go with, this, with status effects. And Awoken doesn't really have a lot of status effects, um, which is the only reason try it. why I would think that might be cool to to try to do if you're going to go multi-strike again. Well, if I get it. Final boss, Seraph the Diligent. Consume. First spell card played each turn gets consumed. So, if you have a lot of spell cards that you rely on to happen a lot, it's going to suck. Grant plus two, ta uh, two stacks of Frostbite each time it is applied. Frostbite does not decay, or Rage does not decay on friendly units. That's tough. <laughs> well, I mean, I got the start with two. Oh, you start with two Rage. Is that new? Oh, I'm doing the... Oh, okay. Thing you get extra cards. All right. Well, did we want to try Multi-Strike again, or did you want to try to go Slay? Uh, sure what you're feeling, I guess. Try Multi-Strike again. I definitely think, um, in armor, door. I definitely think the um, Hellhorns and uh, Awoken with Slay on the Hellhorn is really good if you get the big, you know, tanky dudes to hide behind. I definitely think the only issue with the Stygian stuff is the fact that their starting stuff doesn't really target particular enemies. It just hits the one in front all the time. I guess it'd be better to apply spell weakness to someone on the first floor if they're going to survive anyways, right? Or is it better because you don't have a third person to do it on the second floor ones? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just glad we're not having to deal with the sap dude at the end. Yeah. Oh, final wave. Oh, and you get both rituals of battle right out of the gate. But you can only use one. Yeah, that'll, well, he's going to die. Yeah, it anyways. doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah, you're spell weak. Yeah. And you avoided them going to your fire. Your spire. <laughs> your pyre. Welder Helper, uh, apply 15 armor to the front friendly unit, piercing, 5 damage, and ascend. What's piercing again? You just, you just you avoid bypass their armor. And bypass armor entirely. I think Welder Helper is good. Yeah. Okay. So draw 1, discard 1, Titan's Tooth, deal 5 damage to enemy units, apply Frostbite 10, or apply Spell Weakness to enemy units. So just another energy siphon. I think Titan's Tooth is interesting if you wanted to try to... Well, no, because you're not giving somebody the ability to apply Frostbite. You're just applying Frostbite. But if we wanted to try to get a couple of things that give Frostbite in the future, it would build into that. Um, 
and it's just damage over time. I don't know what the... How does Norline figure out how much damage that does with the DOT stuff? It's, he just knows. It's it's poison, so it takes down one every... Right, but he can just look at like Frostbite 10 and know how much overall damage it's going to do. Well, it's 10, 10 damage, then 9 damage, then 8 damage, and then whatever. So you just... I guess you, you well, just do the math. Once you figure it out, you just know. Yeah. Gotcha. I don't know. It's, it's up to you. Um, if you haven't really used Titan's Tooth or done the Frostbite thing, it might be well. Yeah. The, fun. Well, the offering is if you if it gets discarded, then it's free. But like, I have no discard engine. Oh, I see. So you think maybe getting offering token first, or getting an engine for it first, and then if it comes back around, grab it. Or, like, which do you think would be easier to get? I have no idea. No, okay. I mean, we can try it. Oh, Incant Rage. Yeah. Okay, so... I mean, I think probably a unit. Um... Uh, Making these cheaper would be nice. True. Hmm. So a unit and upgrade a unit. There's always like kind of a good combo, but then Yeah man, I'm just thinking about the end boss and I'm like, what are we gonna do about that? <laughs> Get another incant rage. Might be good to have a tank. But I was I was also thinking we definitely need somebody who can tank. Okay, upgrade a unit with Incant Gain Armor 1, so we can give them another Incant Armor. Um, or just give another unit the ability to Incant Armor, I should say. It's tough because, like, is it worth giving another, like, using up a slot on somebody who already Incants Armor to give them more Incant Armor, or is it better to spread it out? Because it might be fun to do that. Yeah. Upgrading unit with plus one. What is capacity. that? Oh, plus one capacity. Oh, I see. And it just like buffs them. That might be w w worth doing. If we wanted to try to get like a good, just strong tank out. We just need to also buff capacity. <laughs> Of the floors, at least. Let's do it. Beefy units. Yeah, give us some, some wiggle room. Non-boss enemy units get plus four attack. That's fine. We made beefy units, so it feels a little bit better. Remnant Waltz. Do you do magic? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, perfect. We can play Hornbreaker Prince and the Guard of the Unnamed on the first floor right away. What does that that unit do even? The 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 guy on the far right. He like, heals. Oh, okay. All right. Well, energy siphon might be. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> that is. Oh shit! He's taking sixteen damage. Does 
spell weakness make healing... No, oh, it doesn't. Okay, it'd be crazy if it made healing work more. Because te technically things would be more effective. Yeah. Um, yeah. Perfect, there you go. at the oh wait, wait wait hmm I guess it would make sense to do that I was thinking use it on he's the... dead oh okay never mind uh, I... my initial plan was to use March of Shields on the second floor on your 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 bigger dude mm. bring him to the front and then use Walter Helper to give him more stuff or whatever to combo it but you figured out a way to kill him the first one anyway so it doesn't matter Okay, Molting Imp, deal 5 damage to enemy units. That's always nice. Or Apply Armor 5, just Fortify. I mean, I think Ascending would be good. Ascending would also be good, yeah. They're all, like, good in their own way, right? Because, like, the deal 5 damage to enemy units is, is like, it's like a, a, a nice sweep that does. You just pop out there. Helical Chrysalis, deal five, 25 damage to enemy unit twice. That's always good. And does really well with spell weakness. Or do we, now since we have... That one card, we can finally get the this card. Do you get to pick the discard, or is it discard random? You get to pick. Hmm. Sweep frostbite is nice, but sweep spell weakness is also nice. Hmm. If we have like a like a light. Frostbite synergy. Mm hmm. Okay. So, what's inside that chest? What is that? It's okay. Like artifact. Oh, artifact. And then another unit. Or upgrade a unit. Firehouse and all that shit. I think another unit. I don't know. And the artifact, of course. Oh, well, you get uh, Slay plus two or um, spells gain an extra upgrade slot. That's tough. Is there anything that we can give spells that, if they automatically get consume, or whatever, that we can make it work somehow? I don't know what you even asked. Be able to get spells back that are consumed. Yeah. Just other spells, or is there like, can we apply endless to spells, or is it just units? You can remove the consumed. Right, but thing. on the on the boss fight battle or whatever, it's going to be difficult. Um, train graveyard. Oh, this is the one where like the first one's the best one. Probably put it on someone who's already fully upgraded. <laughs> the only one? Shit. You see, it's tough because, like, putting an, some additional um, health on one of your sweep units is good. But because they, they're they so squishy. But at the same time, it's like you want to be able to put other stuff on them, too. This is our first, like, actual boss battle? Yeah. Nice. Give me that ibuprofen. Am I over-discussing things? <laughs> I don't know. Probably. Trying to make good plays. Okay. So we only have five right now. Um, space, at least. Are we going to... Does this boss give you a lot of... Like that... Group of grouping of enemies? Or is that like a one-time thing at the beginning? If it's like a one-time thing in the beginning. Okay, so it's not incredibly important then to put the sweep on the first floor. No. Okay. That was my only question there. So if you put that there, you can't put your tank there. I can if I ascend him. Oh, I see. 
If you put your train steward, he can probably kill one nope, person. He dies. He, oh, he dies immediately because he uh, they attack first. Duh. Okay. You could really reduce the amount of damage he takes by just killing the enemies on the second floor. Yeah. Would it be better to torch one of the guys on the first floor, since they're behind or whatever, and then use your frozen lances on the second floor to reduce those guys a little bit? Yeah, probably. Such a big boy. Is it? Oh, but he goes to the. Oh, he goes to the back and then he's marching of steel to mm -hmm. move to the front. Yo, that's sick. Choop. Cool. And I was dying. Oh well. Uh, okay, well, we have a couple options here. We could put a train steward and the welder on the first floor. No, I mean, like, this... I mean... I think she's dead. Hmm. So I really wish she had a torch right about now. You could just torch that bomb. Oh, that's right. The energy siphon, uh, the spell weakness doesn't take down. Unless they get attacked, right? Yeah, unless you actually use it. That uh, draw one, discard one doesn't, doesn't uh, consume, right? It comes back around? Yeah, it comes back around. Okay. So if you give him There's plus 15 two. armor, he's going to take 10 damage, right? Because that thing is plus for 10 damage. Yeah. We were able to save the sweep unit. down here seems like they're okay they're all right okay well this is interesting because how much times damage does this guy do the boss nine and he doesn't do multiples or anything like that so I mean how do you want to play this because you could use this turn to apply more armor to the top person I mean, I think we just go like... And then just apply our armor to him. Ooh, and it can't too, which is nice. So that's free the next time around, right? It's free now. Oh, it does it right now. Gotcha. Okay. I wasn't sure how that worked. Nice. Worked out beautifully. Spike of the Hellhorned. Consume, apply 2x two ra two rage and 2x armor. That's pretty good. Um, and then, oh, that would be really good if you had an, uh, the ability to uh, to up your, your energy too. Like the imp that gives you plus 4 energy. And then there's consume, sap, and frostbite. Or deal damage to the front enemy unit equal to 15 times the number of imp units in your deck. I have one M. 
Oh, it does 15 damage. When it right now, you haven't getting a lot of Stygian units, so it's like, eh. I kind of like Spike of the Hellhorns. Yeah. It's not, it's never like bad, you know? Consumer of crowns. Not enough imps. Um, you know, I think we just skip. Yeah. Do we want energy or capacity? I was thinking capacity just because it would be nice to be able to put the um, the welder imp on the same floor with your two main units. Or any other imp, really. If you get more. So upgrade spells and get rid of two cards or get a Hellhorn unit and Pyre and money. No, you duplicate... Money. Oh, and duplicate. Ooh. So you could get a Hellhorn unit that's really good and then duplicate them. Or just duplicate, or just what, you duplicate have. what I have. Yeah. That's actually kind of tough. I don't know. Because you don't have a ton of cash, but... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I need to remove. That's true. You do have a, an excess of units, for sure. Okay. Upgrade a spell with plus 10. Double stack. Ooh. Double stack... March of Shields would be nice. Double stack, that would be nice. Oh, four times. It really helps with not having a ton of um, um, energy as well. Yeah. A lot of these would be good. Yeah. I wish you just had three stack stones down there. So, I would say it might be better to double stack the Spike of the Hellhorn over one of your regular um, uh, rage ones because you're going to get more rage out of it. But it's also consume. But, yeah. So does Titan's Tooth apply um, 20, uh, or, or I'm sorry, you know, however much um, uh, Frostbite to any units that it attacks, so all of them? Yeah. Cool. Having a free Marcher Shields would be nice. Oh, actually having a free... Um, uh, Ritual of Battle would be nice because then you could actually play one and not have to have it be the only thing you play. Yeah, that's right, boss. What are you going to do? Put consume on all my shit? I already got consume on all my shit. Now what? Gain in rage, but only if he gets hit. Also, being able to give him um, gets armor. Slay gives him armor, and he has armor ten already. And it ups the amount of damage. So, is it better to get six times three, which is eighteen, or fifteen times two, which is thirty? Eighteen and three strikes, or thirty and two strikes? I think we just continue with the brawler, and then. You know, give them rage and buff them. Okay. So with 15. Like a lot of armor. Yeah. You don't have a lot of high damage uh, units. That's the, that's the only issue. But to keep, like, momentum on stuff, being able to get just, like, just to have cash to spend, because there's... It's like... I almost gotta have, gotta do it. Okay, well at least we have a good team for the bottom floor.
Okay. Hmm. So you have no way of getting that cash up there unless you, I guess, put a sweep attacker on that floor. And they won't die. Oh, but it won't even work anyway because they do one damage. Unless you give them a spike of the Hellhorn. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. I mean, it might be worth it for the cash. Just sucks that it gets consumed is all. They have nothing to bring it back. But, I mean, having a sweep unit do 17 damage is nice. Oh, that sucks. You basically just cycled it out. I think making that draw card be free would be incredibly beneficial. The discard draw one. Wait, isn't it already? I don't know. No. Yeah, it's already free. It's already free. Okay. How much space do those two sweep cards up there take? Two each? Yeah. It might be cool to make one of the sweeps a one cost if you can in the future so that you can fit a sweep or, or someone with an with an incant besides the, the, the big guy. It's like just another incant card on the bottom floor. I don't know. Oh, interesting. They're just going to die. There is nothing you can do, dude. Shit. Nah, shit, I have to have a target. Damn. Yeah, I mean, it's, you're, you're, you're going to be fine on this one. Yeah, I, th I think it's not a bad move. I mean, because you... Oh, I guess you could put him on that floor. Man's dying. Um, I guess if you give him March of Steel, he might survive one more round of, of getting hit. But it would be better just to give March of Steel to the second floor. Or March of Shields, sorry. Damn, I was really hoping for another. Ascend. So I could just ascend them real quick. Yeah. Ouch. Oh, now you have an ascend. Oh, 
Oh, he's dead. Sick. Let me ascend the unit. Ah, oh, fuck. I messed it all up. <laughs> Another spike of the hell horns. A pirate chomper. Ooh, that's good. Yeah. Guardian stone. And can't play armor to, uh, one to friendly units. Mm. That might be a nice, like, other one to put on the bottom floor just to have there because you do a lot of spells on the bottom floor generally if you have the setup that you usually have um mollusk mage is nice but i don't think guardians have oh there's an offering card yeah but yeah, like, i thought yeah. it said consumed uh i don't i don't remember potential double trinket yeah what we got here? At the end of the turn, frozen cards are reduced to, to zero cost. I have no frozen cards. Wait, uh, frozen cards are cards that deal frozen, right? No. The frozen oh. cards are the, like, yeah. ones that the ones stay that stay in your hand. hand. Yeah. When you play your third spell of the turn, all cards gain plus one magic power for the rest of this battle. May as well. So wait, it, like like every time you you, you, put, you play three in a turn, they get plus one. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Pyre wall. Uh, purchase plating. Apply dazed ambience when they enter the pyre room. That was not bad as like a. It's always a safe option. But like, is it better to reroll and get something better? But like, I don't know. You can basically only get one here. So yeah. you want to get dazed, the pyro room, or try to get something else that's like real spicy. Try to get friendly units enter with rage three. Oh wait, X cards cards get plus three to their X value when played. So that, wait, you would automatically get a six mm. if you played it for first thing on your one X card, which is a pretty epic card, I have to say, you know. We get would it give four, five, six, seven? It would get so seven. It would get seven times, or would it get plus three? It gets plus three. Okay, plus three on that. Okay. Hmm. Okay. If we had two X cards, I would be like, this is a no brainer. But the friendly units enter with rage three is also really good. I mean, let's just get enough. I mean, there's definitely chances to get more X cards. Seems to be a thing. In what is it, the Stygian deck or whatever? Non boss ammunition strike. Get multi strike. That seems like a no. Yeah. And the, I mean. I have no quick units. Yeah. That would not be good. Besides, it's not like it's giving you money or anything like that. It's just. It, it is an artifact, but. Oh. Okay. I thought that was more, more that was going to be happening. You can have a super sweet turn. Probably good just to go ahead and get rid of one of these units. I don't know. It is 26 damage. So it's yeah, like... Yeah, we'll yeah. just save it. Okay. Oh, nifty. Um, you can play Guard of the Unnamed and uh, uh, send him. I can. And save your Pyre Chomper for when you have the X card. Yeah. It does suck that you can get away, but you can't do anything about it anyways. Yeah.
Oh, pull some magic power right at the bat. What's nice about the Guardian Stone is that it's not that they get the ability right away out there. It's not like upon summon, it's encant. So you can afford to like not do it this turn, but next time it comes around, if you can ascend it, it's not going to hurt its effect. Wish there's a way you could deal. You could play three cards. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now he's dying. Oh, shit. But, like, using that this turn... I mean, it's as good as we're going to get. That's true. That's the final wave now. Anyway, sick. If you can get this done in a minute, that would be awesome. We got to leave soon. I was going to say, does it hurt to play that? Probably. No, oh, that's sweet. Sick. And they're dead. Are you living or are you dead? No, you're living. You did beat it in a minute. <laughs> Sick. Let's see what you get here. Inflame, apply Rage 4 and Armor 5. This seems pretty good. Rage Serum. Consume, just apply Rage 3, but it's free. Adoring Ram. That seems really good for what you have going on, kind of. It's a hard choice. I think Inflame. Make it cheap and then... And it's just, like, free. Yeah. And get, yeah. And then Preserve, Permafrost, apply Frozen to a, a card in your hand. Plus seven magic power, the guardian's amulet. What's offering? Eh. I don't know, dude. Preserve to be able to apply. Oh, okay. Wait, it's just yeah, frozen. Gotcha. Never mind. I was thinking freeze damage. All right. Well, good luck with the rest of the run. I feel like you have a pretty good deck going on. You should be able to win. Just watch out for the fucking boss, dude. They're gonna ruin your spells. Yeah. spicy hey Panisha how's it going Duplicate that. Good. M's asleep. 
Thought I'd drop in for a bit. Nice. She taking a nap. with rage all right cloudy out day so when she wakes up we may go outside for a bit nice that'll be fun Time to do 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 Got any fun plans for the day besides uh chilling? Ah oh, shit. really finally organized about 90% of those old photos so I've been reaching out to everyone for emails just dies. Stop raging everything. Open care picks are the fave. Ugh. Oh, jeez.
Yes, if your mom only ate grass. Why am I in that group chat? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no... Dude, I don't know. <laughs> they're just, uh, they're, they're wilding out. Finish this run and then chill mostly. Other than that, yeah, definitely think we want that. I think we want more energy as well. He's really into ants. Wants to pet ants and tells me facts about them. She's also been watching the kids' YouTube channel about animals. Getting better at the vet. Get her an ant farm. Hell no. Yeah, I tried to deter her about the coffee saying you don't want to be like Uncle Matt, do you? But she thinks you're super cool, so I made it worse. <laughs> I'm telling you, just give her some black coffee. She won't like it. Eight. Grants multi-strike. Let's see.
Give him fifteen armor. It's almost taken no damage. You exist to be destroyed. comes down to this top floor. Now we're taking way less damage. Skip. Man, I think we skip.
<laughs> Seems good. If I can get a hold over on that spell. All right, boss time. What even is this game? It's a it's a card game. Motherfucker. Uh, where you put units on floors and stuff like that. How come that doesn't count for bell triggers? Feels like it should.
Okay. One. Yeah. Woo woo plus sixteen more. Nice. Start turn and add a random imp unit to your hand. Double the amount of rage on friendly units. Demon units gets multi strike. Damn. Nice. All right, well, that does it for me. Thanks for hanging out, Phoenicia. Uh, we'll be back on tomorrow for some... Project Plus. All right. Peace.